Hello, I'm Jenny Parker and in this short video I'll give you a few hints and tips about using Skype. Once you've downloaded Skype from the internet and installed it, you'll find a little icon on your desktop like this one here. And you simply double click that to start Skype. And you come to the welcome page which you can see you've got your Skype home, profile, Facebook and a new feedback thing. So the first thing you want to do is to let people know that you're online or to go online. Up next to your name in the top left hand corner, at the moment I'm showing offline so I'm going to click the online button and it will then come up with a green um, icon to show that I'm online. The next thing you need to do is to add myself to your Skype so that you can be added to one of the chat groups. And of course you can add anyone else you like to your Skype so you can chat with them as well. So down the bottom of this section on the left hand side um, you can see add a contact. You can also see a contacts menu at the top and add a contact from there. You simply type in the Skype name of the person. If you don't know their name you can do a search on their email or their full name. For me you would type in Jenny P98 and it will just go off and find me. I can't add myself so I'm just going to put another address in there. So once you've got the Skype person found and it's the right one, you simply click on the add button and this will send a message off to that particular person. Now the default message is just simply says I'd like to add you to my Skype I'm running a number of Skype chats at the moment, so to make sure that you're entered into the correct chat group, please put your unit number, so it your EDN205, so you could just say a little message there, hi Jenny, I'm in your EDN205 group, or it may be that you're in my MAN3655 group. So just identify which unit you're in for me and click the send request. Once I get your request, You'll actually pop up on my screen and I'll accept you as a contact. Once you're in my contacts, I'll be able to add you to one of the groups. And I simply do that by dragging and dropping your name into the section. Once I've added you to the Skype chat, you're going to just click in the section down the bottom and type away and chat with your fellow peers. You can so click the send message or hit the enter button and it will add your message to the chat. You'll only be able to see messages from the time you join forward. You won't be able to see any postings before the time you joined. As you start adding people, you'll find that your chats will build up and it might become a bit hard to find the actual group chat. In the beginning, when it's the only one, that's fine and relatively easy. I suggest what you do is rename the chat to something more meaningful. You can see on mine I've called it EDN205-2011 in this example here and you can click on the little edit button and type in and you can call it um, whatever you need to, to be able to identify your group chat. Once you've retyped it you simply click the little tick. So if you're in MAN3655 once I add you to the group You'll be able to go up to the top. You'll probably see my name when you're first added to the group because I'm your initial contact. Click on the little pencil, type in MAN3655 and tick it. And that way you'll know that that one's the group chat as opposed to a one-on-one -on -one chat um, with a particular person. To see who else is in the chat with you, you can uh, see the list of names across the top. And if you right click on a name, you can view profile and you see whatever other information they've got there. Usually they have their time zone and sometimes the phone numbers. You can also just click on the name in the chat window and view profile from there as well. You'll see that there's lots of other options in there that you might like to explore. What else do we need to know about chat? Well, if you make a spelling mistake, you can simply right click on that text message and select edit message and you can correct what you want in there and resend your message and it corrects it for you. You can also right click on it and remove the message. There's some smiley faces just here above the chat. 
So you could select a smiley face to let people know how you're feeling, which is always a handy thing online because you don't have body language and interaction that you would normally do when you see someone face to face. The other thing that you might like to do is to turn off the sounds. When someone posts a message, you get this little bing, and that can sometimes be annoying. So up on the Tools menu, if you select Options, Sounds, and in my case it says Enable All Sounds because I already have them muted, but if you don't have them muted, you will see Mute All Sounds, or you could select which sounds here on the left. I just mute them all so that they don't annoy me through the day. I think that's enough to get you started.